Now we have a global address on industry's role in accelerating digital transformation. I would like to invite Malcolm Johnson, Deputy Secretary General, International Telecommunication Union, to speak on the topic. Namaste. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to address this year's Digital Telco Virtual Summit. The foundation is actively involved in ITU and we very much appreciate its contribution to our three sectors, the radio communication sector, standardization sector, and the development sector. And it's an important partner in the excellent uh, collaboration we have between India and ITU. Next year, of course, India celebrates the 75th anniversary of its independence. And since the beginning, India has become a technology powerhouse, and especially in the information and communication sector. And that's thanks to many initiatives taken by Prime Minister Modi, such as Digital India in 2015. And that was a the same year that the, uh, the UN adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, and which will be very dependent on digital technology for their achievement. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the world has become more reliant on technology than ever before to continue business, government, and education, as well as just to keep in touch with families and loved ones. I congratulate India for administering over 120 core COVID-19 vaccines so far and for developing and receiving the WHO approval for its COVAXIN vaccine. Let's hope that with the rollout of this and, and the other vaccines around the world, we will once again be able to meet up in person I've always enjoyed my visits to India and hopefully will do so again in the near future and can catch up with all my, uh, my good friends there. The pandemic has resulted in a, in a huge increase in demand for telecommunication services. And so the network operators must be congratulated for the resilience of the networks uh, during this sudden increase in demand and for further developing their services and capabilities to meet the various new demands. While the latest ITU data shows that the uptake of the internet has accelerated during the pandemic with almost 800 million people estimated to have come online since 2019, we still have 2.9 billion people offline 96% of these live in developing countries and especially in the rural areas. So I'm very pleased uh, to see so much emphasis being placed on connecting these people in India. What is critical is for the government to give the private sector the incentive to roll out the infrastructure in these areas where there is a, a poor return on investment. But it's not simply a problem of connectivity, it's also the affordability of connecting, sufficient relevant content in the local language, awareness of the benefits, trust in the security, and digital skills and literacy. ITU as the UN specialized agency for ICTs plays an important role in all these areas and we're here to help and work closely with India. Let me give you uh, just one example. Earlier this year, ITU published the detailed specifications for the IMT 2020 radio interface technologies for 5G. And one of these technologies, 5GI, was submitted by the Telecom Standards Development Society of India, TSDSI. This is a significant milestone for the Indian and the global telecommunications industry and its users as it improves connectivity in rural areas. I would also like to compliment the Department of Telecommunications on the formation of a new group on, on 6G. 
These emerging technologies will be key to achieving the SDGs and tackling the world's most pressing challenges from COVID-19 to climate change. As His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales told the G20 summit just before the recent COP26, the private sector holds the ultimate key to the solutions we seek. Since it is becoming increasingly interested in investing in the innovative technologies that will help create the necessary transition to sustainability. With a growing awareness of the importance of digital technology for the achievement of the SDGs, there are many diverse business opportunities for companies in the telecommunications and ICT sector to unlock trillions in market opportunities and create millions of jobs by integrating SDGs into their business strategies. While the imminent opening of the new ITU Era office in New Delhi to cover South Asia uh, is, is due and I look forward very much to, to its opening because it will further involve India in the work of ITU and that's including uh, Indian SMEs and academia. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to be there soon uh, for its opening. One thing that COVID has clearly shown is that we are dependent on each other. So let us all commit to closer collaboration to work for a better digital future for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Malcolm, for sharing knowledge and vast experience with all of us today. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick reminder to explore the Xperia with the videos and presentations shared by the partners.